So it says here that William Horton traveled to Georgia with James Oglethorpe in 1735. And he actually paid for his own passage, whereas most people came for free. He paid for his passage, and in return, he received 500 acres. And that's right here. He came by himself, he was considered an adventurer, and left his wife and two kids in England until they decided to come with him after he settled and built this plantation. So in return for that, he needed to bring with him indentured servants who would actually work the land, and he also agreed to have the land producing within 10 years of taking it over.